Hi, so sorry it's been a bit long time between posts. It takes a bit longer to pull videos together these days than what I had uh, envisaged, so they've been a bit sporadic of late. Um, so I'm going to basically try and post a lot more content now uh, on a broader range of topics. Um, not necessarily about cycling, but just generally things that I'm interested in. So today's video is about 3D printing um, and currently some of the applications that I've seen it for. So in case you haven't heard of 3D printing, it's slightly different to most manufacturing techniques in that rather than start with like a block of things and then whittle it back to what you want it, um, you pretty much start with nothing and then layer it up until um, you finally got your final product. So it's sometimes called additive manufacturing um, because you basically build it one layer at a time. It's a new way of working with things, but it really changes the way in which we um, view items, how we manufacture things, how do we actually even rep repair things. And today I just wanted to talk about how I've just used 3D printing in a very simple uh, way to fix something of mine that was broken, which otherwise I would have thrown away and ended up in landfill. I've had this soda stream now, it was given to me a couple of years ago by good friends, and um, I use it pretty much every day. I love having the carbonated water, the sparkling fizzy water with dinner. Um, and basically what's happened is at the hinge, it's snapped off. Um, and unfortunately it's out of warranty, so, um, it wouldn't be replaced under warranty. Other than the fact that this hinge had broken, it seemed like a bit of a shame to throw the whole unit away just because there's one broken part. So I jumped online to see if it could be fixed. Uh, and eventually I found this, this post about how um, somebody else had the same problem and actually had modeled the part you know, using SketchUp or something similar, um, and posted the files up online for other people. Um, so uh, that to me was a was a real breakthrough because it saved me having to three like model the part, um, and all that I then needed to do was find somebody who could take the files and actually print the the thing for me and then send it to. Me. And this is where I guess the gig economy comes really into into its own uh, because I put up a, a task on Airtasker saying here are the files, um, give me a couple of quotes and this guy Ross he said yep can do it, um, 20 bucks delivered uh, within a couple of days. And then sure enough the part came in. Um, it, it took a bit of fiddling to pull the pin out um, where the hinge was on, put the part on, put the hinge back in. But once that had all happened, um, it works like a charm. So, you know, he, instead of having to put one item into a uh, landfill, buy another one, um, I've now effectively um, saved the landfill, um, saved the cost actually of buying another item. Uh, and I think that that's the way forward, you know, we should really be trying to repair things as much as we can, you know, reduce our impact on the, on the world. Um, and part of all of that was, um, this is my small way of saying, well, how do we use technology to repair the things that we have and not throw them away just because they're broken? So I hope that this shows you just the power of 3D printing, uh, I guess the current state of where it's at right now, um, how I use it, um, uh, and um, how I think it's going to start disrupting a whole bunch of industries, including the supply chain. Um, I also hope it sh opens your mind to some of the environmental impacts of uh, reducing landfill um, and ultimately reducing plastic uh, consumption. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm finding these days um, I don't have as much time to post videos about cycling. Simple fact is, uh, my wife and I have just had a little baby girl and I don't have as much time anymore to be uh, riding my bike. So 
I'll be posting a lot of videos about a wider range of topics, on things that interest me, uh, on things like dad life. Um, hope you enjoy it.